morning and welcome back to my channel so today is another what i eat in a day but we're not starting with my breakfast just yet we are going to start prepping for my evening meal we're having a slow um slow cooker sausage casserole and it is so simple to make so i'll show you what you'll need so you'll need a red onion which i have um prepped already and you just need to put your red onion into like petals like this and then you'll need two carrots chopped up you'll need a packet of um sausages you could have um the skinny ones from aldi you can make this into a vegetarian you can use um linda mccartney's red onion and rosemary sausages you can make this is sim free low calorie whatever you want to do but this is what i've i've got these sausages so this is what i'm using so two carrots a packet of sausages um some tomato passata a can of butter beans a can of chopped tomatoes and a can of sweet corn and then you put all that into there and you put it on low for about eight hours everything now is in my slow cooker then what i have done is and what i've done at the end is filled up three quarters worth of uh, this can with cold water and i've just placed that in if i think in about five hours it's, it needs a bit of more water i'll just add a little bit extra uh, water um, and that's it put the lid on it and put it on slow and low and um, in about six o'clock tonight it will be ready it's currently half eight in the morning so for my breakfast i am having two of the apple and cinnamon whole grain low fat rice cakes which are made by Kalo so I've got two of those and then I've topped it with a teaspoon of fat free Greek yogurt and then I've got um, strawberries and blueberries on top and I'm having it with a black coffee now so it's lunch time and I've got leftovers which is the best this is cheeseburger pasta I will link above the recipe for this and um, also it's saved in my highlights on my Instagram Everything is done in one pot. It's absolutely amazing and makes the best leftovers whatsoever. I should have had it with some salad to make it like extra healthy, but sometimes a pot of pasta is just the best thing ever. And that's what I am feeling for today. So I've got that. And then I've got a, a drink of apple and blackcurrant um, dilute juice. What I will say is I don't mention how much these I drink in a day. I drink about four to five glasses of this um, a day. I, I've realised I don't mention my fluids, so just know that in the background, what I don't really document, I am drinking about four to five glasses of this. So that's my lunch for today. So this is my evening dinner. I've got some roast potatoes, some green beans, and then the sausage casserole. I've got two sausages in there, and the rest of it is all the yummy goodness. So I'm going to sit and enjoy this. So my evening snack is a little treat bowl. So I have got one of these light crunch flamingo. So basically it's strawberry yogurt and some strawberry chocolate balls in there. And then I've got a Fibre 90 um, red velvet cake. So I've put the yogurt in here, added strawberries and blueberries, then sprinkled on the little balls. And then I've chopped up a Fibre 90 bar and placed that on top. So that's my little, little treat ball. Then I've just got two pairs. These need eating. They're going a little bit soft, which is perfect for me. So that is everything I'm going to be eating for tonight. What I want to say as well, that sausage casserole was immense. It was so good. It was really thick. Like the, the passata and because like I'd only added one chopped tomato, it did ask for two cans of chopped tomato in the recipe. Um, but me, it would have been a bit too watery. So I'm glad that I held off. So if you are going to make it, then do just make it with one can of chopped tomatoes and then just fill up three quarters worth of um, water in your can. Um, and it was the perfect consistency. It was on at half eight and it came off at six o'clock at night and it was amazing. The sausages were so soft and it was just it was just a lovely lovely meal it would have been a lot better if I could have been bothered to make some mashed potato but I just couldn't be bothered um because it would have been pure comfort food with like mash and that would have been amazing but that is another one what is going to be a firm favorite in the house we've all thoroughly enjoyed it so that is everything for today and I'll see you tomorrow which is Friday good morning just it's just good morning um so 
last night um, the hubster didn't come home till quarter to 11 at night he had to get a job done um, for the client and um, yeah it was a late month for him and I'm not used to him being out that late um, so when he came in at quarter to 11 at night um, I was speaking to him and then I couldn't click off um, so yeah I'm absolutely cream crackered I had to be up super early this morning because Grace had an appointment um, over the phone with her allergist um, just seeing how she's getting on etc etc so that was lovely as a little catch up from her so I had that this morning and Max has had double food tech this morning so he's had to make a recipe and do all that jazz so we've done that this morning and then um, Grace had a lot of like I am learning frog learning um, rocket TT rock stars so, so she had a lot of like apps to go on um, this morning so she's been doing that she's still on frog learning as we speak so yeah it's just been a busy morning and on top of that I feel cream crackered and um, so I'm on my second cup of coffee already so um, yeah so I'm having that Max has then got double maths in a bit so his lesson starts at 10 to 12 for half an hour and then he has a half an hour break and within that break I'm going to neutralize getting all our lunches um, done and dusted. I have some sausage casserole left over from yesterday's meal but in all honesty I am not feeling it. I think Max will have that and I think I'm going to have like rice cakes and salad but we will see in a bit. So um, sorry there's no breakfast again it's just one of those days um, and I hope you are keeping well. I'll see you when I decide to have something to eat. So for my lunch, I am having two of the veggie cakes, the um, spinach and pesto. I absolutely love these. If you've not tried them, and then I highly recommend them. They are very, very nice. Um, so I've got them. If calorie wise, they are um, 40 calories, so there'll be two sins on Summer World if you are interested. Then I've got some Primula, Primula light cheese, which I've just spreaded on top of them some rolled up ham and some cherry tomatoes and I'm going to put some chilli and garlic salt on top and I'm having it with a Pepsi Max cherry. Home school is over, it's been a day. I am officially done with home school and I cannot wait to have Saturday Sunday off. It's just a nightmare. I appreciate the teachers doing, I've been sorting the felt tip pens out, there we go. Um, I appreciate all the teachers had work, it must be hard like trying to teach people at school and also online, I completely get it, but today's been my limit of it, um, double food tech, to make a recipe under £10, then to write it up, to find the prices for that, on top of that having maths work to do as well to do the DT work, and then on top of that we have geography work and homework to do I'm just yeah been one of those days and then Grace had her stuff going off as well it's just been just been one of those days and I cannot wait for tomorrow just to not think about school work or even logging on to any system would be just can't wait just cannot wait so I've already um, planned what we're having for tea, yes, um, it's a quick and easy tea, no really cooking, I've just chopped up t um, three um, potatoes, that's the children arguing, we're just going to roll with it, we're going to roll with it. Um, <laughs> so I've, oh, ah, I've already prepped, um, I can't even talk. So I already know what we're having for dinner. It's um, Dania, I'll show you. So for dinner, I got these Whitby Seafoods Lemon and Pepper Goujons. They sound amazing. So it's a 275, 270 gram bag. So I am trying to be healthy. I'm not calorie counting or anything like this, but I am trying to be healthy. One way to know that you're healthy is lower the calories, better the food is. That's just a rule in general. So um, per 100 grams, it's 256. Well, the bag's nearly 300, so you can, times that by three so for my little portion i'm going to have it's not going to be unhealthy or anything like that it's going to be healthy um and if you are calorie counting it's going to be low in sin so we're having lemon and pepper goujons with um steam bag which has got broccoli carrots and sweet corn and i'm having that with some chips which is just basically a potato cut up 
with some paprika on banged in the oven so that is tea for tonight i'll show you when it's all plated up so this is my lunch today i've got the veg i've got the potatoes i've got four of the little lemon and pepper goujons and then i've got one slice of bread with a teaspoon of butter and some lighter than light mayonnaise so that's my evening meal tonight so i'm ending the day with a mini curly whirly and a black coffee See you tomorrow. Good morning, I hope you're all all right. Um, after I'd show you what I'd eaten and drunk, I had to go to bed. I had a severe uh, migraine, really, really bad last night. Um, I think we to do that I need to get my glasses um, sorted. I, need, I think I need a stronger prescription. I've got something called photosensitivity, I think that's how you say it, uh, where my eyes are really sensitive to the light. That's why I've got um, a blue tint on here. Um, be because of it, if I take my glasses off, if I haven't got my glasses off, um, my eyes go bright red and it's really, really painful. Um, so, I think it's to do with my glasses. Oh, well, I know it's to do with my glasses. Um, so anyway, um, you don't need to know that. Um, anyway, you're not bothered about that. So, I've made myself a uh, black coffee. I am having two crumpets with some cheese on top and whilst Grace is dancing and the house is all quiet because she's working today um, I'm going to go back upstairs into bed, snuggle up and watch some Netflix while enjoying my breakfast and I haven't done that in years probably. Um, so um, I normally sit in the dining room while Grace is in the Zoom and eat my breakfast but I'm going for the cosy feels. It's frosty morning out there and um, that's what I'm feeling, so I'll show you it when it's all plated up. There is my breakfast, two crumpets and some lovely melted cheese with my black coffee. Lunch today is couscous made up with a vegetable stock cube, um, some ham, peppers and cherry tomatoes and a sprinkling of cheese. Then I have topped it with chilli, garlic, salt and some chopped chives. Um, I would add greenery to this but um, my fridge is bare, I've got my food shop coming um, later today. Um, so this is my lunch. So I've done it. I saw Gemma's um, video the other day, I think it was. Um, she was talking about a 100 day exercise challenge. And I was like, yes, I like that idea. And I've just Instagrammed her to say like, how do you get involved, etc., etc. Anyway, I, I'm doing it, I'm committed to it. And why I'm doing it is, yes, it would help, help with weight loss and shaping your body and all that jazz and all that, but I'm doing it because I need something to look forward to each day. So I'm starting on Monday, which is the 25th of January, and I'm doing it for 100 days, obviously, and that'll take me up to the 5th of May. And I'm not a big exerciser um, prior to lockdown and, prior to the, the world being like it is, I played netball for Doncaster and I absolutely loved it. Twice a week doing netball, I I absolutely loved it and that was my exercise. Um, and doing an exercise class as well on top of that, I absolutely loved it. Um, but this won't be like, some of them are like exercise queens who all that jazz and I wish I had that much energy, I, I, I just sure don't. Yeah, I'm gonna, go out for like my daily walks after um, homeschooling's done or do some home workouts um, but I really can't wait I really am looking forward to it um, it won't be a lot it might be just be half an hour a day and then I, more I, get, I fall in love with it and stuff like that that I might up that um, I used to do jogging um, many years ago I used to go jogging and I really enjoyed that um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to my little challenge. Um, it's just it's just brought a buzz, a buzz to me, and I think it'll be something really, really good. So for my evening meal tonight, um, I can't be bothered to cook. It's one of those days. Um, so the hubster has been out and got us a Subway salad. So this is um, teriyaki chicken. I've got peppers, cucumbers, um, tomatoes, and spinach and a sprinkling of cheese. So that's my evening meal for tonight. So my evening snacks are a black coffee, I've got a 10 cal Hartley's apple and watermelon jelly, and then I'm going to try some of these Indian Bay Crunchy Pretzels. Came on my online delivery. They were on an offer, so I thought I'd just try, try a bag. 
And if I like them, they'll be a repurchase. And they're only 99 calories for the for the whole bag. So I hope you've enjoyed my what I eat in a day over three days, I think it is. Um, as always, sending huge positive thoughts. See you soon. Bye.